I wanna lie Tell you that it's alright This time I will try Try to keep it inside Nobody knows and oh Lord, I saw the colors gently fading from the roses in my head and they're turning into ash. Tell me no more. I'm sure this love is slowly dying. Hi right, guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to play Roses by George Taylor. This is a freaking beautiful song and I'm adding it to my cover repertoire. So while I'm at it, I wanted to make a tutorial for everyone. We've got a capo here on the first fret, standard tuning, and that's all you need to know. Uh, next, I'm gonna explain the chords and then sing through the song so you can see how the strumming and the chords fit with the melody. All right, let's get started. All right, so welcome into this lesson. We have three chords we need to know. It's a D minor, it's a C, and it's a G. So let's talk about our D minor first. We've got our index finger on the first fret of the high E, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, ring finger on the third fret of the B, and we strum just those four strings. Now technically you could add your A root note in there, but we're just gonna pluck these four strings, or at least try to focus on just plucking those four. Next, we've got a C chord. Now, most of the time you see a C chord played this way. I'm playing it this way because I like that it gives it a little bit more body and bass to the chord. So I have my index on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the D, pinky on the third fret of the A, ring finger on the third fret of the low E. Beautiful chord. And we've got our G chord. Now you can play your G chord this way as well, but I prefer to play it with the pinky on the third fret of the high E, ring finger on the third fret of the B, and then index on the second fret of the A, middle finger on the third fret of the G. So those are the three chords. And now it's all just about uh, how the melody fits on top of those three chords and how we can change up the strumming as we go here. So the song has this melody going out the whole time, right? It's this So you can fit these chords in. I think it's kind of cool to just go so those are going out throughout the whole song if you have a looper or something that'd be really cool to sing that into a looper and then keep on time and, and continue playing uh, the rest of the song with those in the background all right so then the verse comes in and it goes i want to lie tell you This time I will try Try to keep it inside Okay, so that's the verse, really nice and simple. You can do what I was doing the whole time and you can just do one show. I wanna lie Tell you that it's alright Notice that the G is getting two bars as opposed to one with the other chords. This time I will try. And notice those lyrics come in a little earlier. This time I will try. Try to keep it inside. Okay, and then if you want to do more complicated strumming, you can do that too. I want to lie. Tell you that it's alright. Try to keep it inside 
Then we're going into the pre-chorus, which is like this. I don't want to leave this helpless home. I don't want to leave if I'm leaving alone. I'll be here waiting in these four bare loveless walls. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. And then that leads into the chorus, but we're going to just review this pre chorus section here for a second. So, again, it's just D minor, C, and G, but it's a lot of down strums, I think, that works really nice in this section. So, I like to leave the opening space where he leads in with the melody. I don't wanna. And then come in on leave with the down strums. I don't wanna leave. right into the chorus which is on an F chord oh Lord, I saw so I actually lied to y'all you need to know how to play an F chord too and an A minor so most of the song is D minor C and G but there is an F bar chord and an A minor chord in here as well apologies <laughs> all right so for the chorus we've got this we've got oh Lord, I saw the colors gently fading You could do something like the um, Anyway, so the chorus is just F E minor A minor G Oh Lord, I'm sure this love is surely dying as I repeated twice so I just sung the, the last half of the chorus there um, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to play the chorus and then now you know the the verse the pre-chorus and the chorus and there's an outro section okay so the outro section is just a D minor to a C to a G and on that G is when the lyrics come in so roses in my head So that's all you need to know to play Roses by George Taylor. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also check out the music I am making as well because that is a huge support. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Bye.